All right, so this is very early in the morning and guys, I'm up early. Just trying to get this video out as soon as possible for people who need this video. So if you haven't done so yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to help this video so that more people can get this video as well. But basically this video is for those people who are trying to remap their controller, but they don't own a PS5. So this is how to remap your controller on a PC. So Palabras has been really nice to actually update the app recently uh, to support this function for people who don't have a PlayStation 5 and want to remap their controller. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. All right, so for a lot of people who are wondering how to do this, basically you gotta get the DSX app. So at the time of this recording, the DSX app doesn't give you the ability to do so because you might be on a different version. So the only version that gives you the opportunity to basically map the controller is version 2.4.0 and 2.4.1. Right now I'm at 2.4.1. I'm gonna show you guys just what yours would probably look like, just to kind of go through that with you um, as well. So the, the, let me cut off this one. Gotta go to Steam. All right, so basically Palaverse recently patched their, um, the software because 2.4.0 and 2.4.1 has some issues. So he basically patched it where the, where the app will revert all the way back to 2.3.2, um, which is the most stable version. But I'm gonna show you guys basically how you guys can get 2.4.0 and 2.4.1 so you can start using your controller because that's probably very important for you. So this is, the, this is probably the version that you have if you actually don't have the paid version. So you need the paid version in order to be able to do this. So you probably have two point, version 2.3.2, .2, which is the most stable version right now. So uh, maybe at the time of this recording, they already patched it and you have 2.4.1 or 2.4.0. So it might be a little bit different for you, but if you wanna do it right, right now, you gotta go to, go back to your Steam app. So go back to Steam and just do it where I just did a while ago. So go back to Steam. You're gonna click on, um, you're gonna click on library, right? Click on the DSX app, but don't launch it. Click on the start button right here. Uh, make sure that I, I close the app. So click on the little, like, whatever this button is, the settings button, right? Manage. You're gonna click on properties. You're gonna go all the way down to betas and you're gonna add a beta. So you're gonna add a DualSense branch, DualSense edge support branch, right? And you notice that it's gonna start updating. So it's updating it to the latest version, all right? Okay, so you're gonna X out of this. So what that's gonna do is that that's gonna give you access to 2.4.1, cause that's in beta mode right now because of the issues that I just talked about earlier. And you're gonna launch the app. So after the app has launched, go all the way over to info to check. And then notice that we have 2.4.1. Cause this is like a beta version that we are on right now. So you're gonna go back to home. You can click on controller. Okay, sorry guys, I forgot to plug in my controller. I was trying to find, and I forgot, but you have to plug in your controller in order for it to work. Make sure you plug in your controller, don't be like me. <laughs> I forgot to plug in mine, but your controller should connect. Once you plug your controller, it's connected. You're gonna see extra buttons over here. So it's gonna say dual sense edge. So these are the extra features that added. So you're gonna go here and you can map whatever button you want to the back button. So I have mine, at the left assign button for X and the right assign button for zero. So mine is mapped to X on the left side and zero for the right side. So you can map the function buttons as well. So mine, the function button on the left is actually ma mapped to the triangle and the function button on the right is actually mapped to X. So that's basically how simple it is for you guys to go ahead and do it. And obviously when you press the, the back button, so I'm pressing C right here, it works just to show you that it works. So the right button is circle. And then when I use a function button, this function button is actually pressing triangle and pressing box, All right? So it shows you that this app shows that it actually works. So that's basically how simple it is for you guys to go ahead and map your controller to any back buttons you want using your PC. So you don't need a PlayStation 5 to do this. Only bad thing is this, is that you won't be able to save those profiles on the controller because at the time of this recording, Palaverse is working on a way how to do that. And I'm not too sure if he'll be able to crack the code, but like, that man has been a wizard. He's been doing a lot of great things um, with this app. So 
hopefully get to openly crack the code soon and we're able to like save the profile in the controller as well just as we would do on the playstation 5. for now please like the video please subscribe to the channel as well to help us grow i literally woke up early in the morning just so i can um update you guys and um so you guys can actually get playing on your new pc with the duals and x give no some one that out for now like next time i'll see you again we're going dark now and i'll see you in the next video peace